Anyways, welcome, Cactus. Hey, how are you? Hi, how's it going? I'm doing great. Are you Jewish, Cactus? No, I'm not. Just I'll tell you. I'll tell you the secret on how to bless the Jewish people. All right, the Jewish people don't need your money, and they don't need your sympathy. They need you. The best way to bless Israel is by becoming Israel yourself. Assuming you're sincere and you really, you know, you have something to offer to the Jewish people, join the Jewish people because we need you. So you're telling them to convert. Yeah? Now that's pretty unique. I don't think anyone has ever heard that. Like, wow. Yeah, I mean, like in general, Jewish people don't consider it, don't, don't like advocate for people to convert. Yeah, that's know, right. What... And it's weird. It's weird. But we used to, by the way, Historians talk about it, the Talmud talks about it, the New Testament talks about it, Jews used to proselytize, there's nothing in Judaism that prohibits proselytizing, nothing. I've been doing this long enough, I'm waiting for an actual challenge, nothing. Um, it's a custom. The Emperor Hadrian outlawed the practice and he said anyone caught converting or seeking converts would be unalived. And our host countries didn't allow it. Um, and then Kabbalah discouraged conversion in general because it taught that uh, you can't really convert to Judaism. If you convert, it's because you were Jewish all along. Right, and it teaches that Gentiles, like if you're Lubavitch stuff, I think we spoke about the whole, you know, mal mamish, that Jews are special and Gentiles are not. Uh, so this is why people think that we don't proselytize. There's yeah, no obligation. There's no obligation for Jews to encourage anyone to consider to look into Judaism. For sure, there's no obligation, but it's not prohibited. Okay, this is why yeah. standard says that it might be for you. It might not be for you, you know. But if you're looking for an ethical outlet, consider Judaism. And uh, and also like I feel like also like Judaism also should be like very easy for people to convert because I feel like uh, the this uh, barrier a lot of people have a barrier they whenever you, I talk about the Judaism as a religion they talk about there's a barrier of converting to religion or to to Judaism because it takes time and blah blah some a lot of people say that you know like uh, like give you an example the difference is like let's say like if people wanted to convert to Islam. They will just say three words and then they convert to Islam. Uh, but if they're Christian, I, they'll usually baptize. If I'm not, if I'm if I'm correct, they just baptize and you become Christian. Uh, but Judaism, I heard they went a lot of presses of have to study a lot of stuff before you become a uh, before you become a, a Judaism, which I feel like uh, it may be maybe that's the barrier. That's why the the Jews uh, like the Jewish community as a religious hasn't grow much in the past uh, 100 years. Yeah, by the way, I'm not speaking for every Jewish person out there. There's a lot of rabbis who disagree with me. They won't come up here and, and explain why they disagree, but just so you know, um, there's the, the majority of people would disagree with me. I try to debate these people as much as I can. The truth is, there's nothing special about being Jewish, okay? It's what you do with your Judaism, right? You can be born Jewish. Jerry Seinfeld's Jewish. Karl Marx is Jewish. But they never did anything with it, right? Uh, there's a mugging of rum for the front people out there who says this is why we there's a bracha shaloh sani goy that there's no like like I mean thank God for not making me a gentile. But there's no bracha like thanking God you know for making me Jewish because like, you have to work on truly becoming Jewish even though you happen to be born Jewish. It doesn't come easy. So this is why conversion shouldn't take long. If it's easy to be born into the system, it should be easy to convert, right? Why? Because being Jewish doesn't mean anything. It's what you do with your Jewishness. Now that you're Jewish, what are you going to do, right? Are you going to learn Torah? Are you going to do acts of kindness in the name of Judaism, right? Live a Jewish life. That, you know, people could be born Jewish. It means that that it doesn't matter on how many Jews you have. It's how many people actually live out their religion. But sometimes when you make it difficult to convert, it pushes people away to such an extent that they become Muslim. I met so many people that, you know, They've been discouraged from becoming Jewish instead of saying, you know, it's going to take a year, just wait. And I, like most people will wait a year, but sometimes they won't even give you a time and you can't date, you know, that like you can't date, you can't do anything, but wait. And then how many times, like, have you, by the way, I converted to Judaism 25 years ago. How many times was I at the synagogue and they counted me in the minion by mistake? And I have to say, hey, guys, I'm not Jewish and I'm not Jewish. Right? I mean, I'm 46 now. I converted 25 years ago. Um, and it's frustrating and it's quite emasculating, like if you're converting with a family, right? I mean, I converted when I was single, but you know, like your wife's there, like viewing her husband as a second class citizen. And you know, it's like, my gosh, it's, it's, <sighs> what do you think, Moshe? I think it's ridiculous. The whole thing. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, it's partially true. Um, the process of the conversion is ridiculous. If you want to do RCA, of course, if you want to do whatever you want, it's very easy. I mean, it's, it's, it's also a myth. It's half and half. It's not, it's not that every conversion is difficult. Because if you go to, uh, I don't know, Rath Kamenevsky, uh, his, his uh, students are not going to be pushing you out, which I really think they want. I mean, it's, it's just this political nonsense. I mean, if you want to go to Israel, make Aliyah, for sure, you have to do RCA, otherwise you're a Nachri. Which if you go by yourself with a tourist visa, and you go to uh, the shul of, I don't know, Rafkanevsky, Rafkanevsky, nobody's, everybody's gonna treat you as a Jew. Yeah. Like, no it's one ridiculous. asks you in Israel if you're Jewish, by the way. I lived in Israel for five years, no one asked me, they assume you're Jewish, especially clearly if you're dressed like a priest or something, or, you know, but if you just walk into a shul and then like you answer like amen to the brachas and you say Kadusha, they're, they're gonna assume you're Jewish. The halacha is, 